Today is the kind of day that calls for comfort food. Al Anderson from Big Al's Deli has his covered. He's sharing his recipe for barbecue salmon with shrimp and grits. And I was saying, do you say salmon or salmon? And you say? Salmon. All right. <clears throat> but you grew up where? Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. All right. So talk to us about this. I, I love sal salmon, or however you pronounce it, but this looks very good. Salmon is probably my favorite fish, and it does very well with spice. Years ago, I experienced it with barbecue sauce, and I love it. So I, I do a lot of grilling, and I grill salmon with barbecue sauce. This mm -hmm. time of year, I said, well, I do barbecue salmon on Fridays. I said, I do a lot of shrimp and grits. I said, well, let me, let me spin it a little bit. Let me do barbecue salmon and shrimp and top it with grits. All right, so go ahead and get it started here. All right, well, first we're going to make a basic barbecue sauce. Everybody has their own, a lot of you have their own barbecue sauce. I have no problem with that. But uh, so, so again, a basic one for you to try, but if you've got something that you like, go right ahead with that one on barbecue sauce. Yes, this is ketchup, brown sugar, and I do a little different. Some people add apple juice or water. I add orange juice because I want the acidity to uh, go through the sauce. Okay. And I don't use prepared, I use, I use prepared mustard instead of dry mustard. Just gives it more flavor. Minced garlic. I don't think I could live without garlic. <laughs> Salt, pepper, and then I use chili powder. And this old, hard to pronounce Worcestershire. All right. <laughs> I always have a hard time with that one too. Apple cider vinegar. Now you were saying something too. If they were going to use their own barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. they should add a little spice because you say that goes good with salmon. Yeah, if you're going to use your own barbecue sauce, which I have no problem, then you want to add a little, some more chili powder, maybe a little cayenne pepper to just bounce up. Salmon can handle the heat. Okay. So all you do is mix this up and you have uh, your homemade barbecue sauce. And just store this in the airtight container, airtight container, put it in the refrigerator and you're good to go. How long will that keep? At least two weeks. Nothing's gonna kill this. Mm -hmm. It's got vinegar for days. Okay. Fantastic. Now, all we do is we pour six ounces into the skillet, and then we put the salmon and the shrimp in the skillet, turn it on, and start cooking it to start the bubble. It takes about five to seven minutes. Shrimp and salmon, six to eight ounce fillet of salmon, mm -hmm. will cook about the same time as medium shrimp. All we do is flip it over once, and it starts turning opaque right. or pink, and... Uh, so just once? Uh -huh. Now is it five minutes total or five minutes per side? Five minutes total. Total. Yeah. You don't want to uh, overcook your salmon. Mm -hmm. So by the time the shrimp cooks, it's ready. Okay. The, bu the, the sauce starts bubbling and you don't even need to set a timer. So that's a good indication. Once the sauce starts to bubble, mm -hmm. we're probably good to go with yeah, the salmon flip it and over, the shrimp. Flip the shrimp over, shrimp turns opaque and you're good. Now you're laying this over a, 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 a thing of grits. A Tell me grits. about your grits. All right, Are you doing quick or the long, slow cook? I do the cook? long, slow cook. Uh, I put salt, pepper, and garlic. I like savory grits. I never put sugar in it. Why I did grits was because grits will balance the flavor of the spice on the salmon. Mm -hmm. And it's comfort food. Everybody should have it at home, especially this time of year. If you cook grits for breakfast, save it. Use it for dinner. As your salmon, you, mm -hmm. can, you can have dinner on the table okay. in 10 minutes. That looks good. What's big on the menu now? What's big on the menu now, uh, for uh, breakfast, I do a seafood omelet. Uh, I'm doing uh, hash browns. I can't keep hash browns in the store. <laughs> they, they, they're selling like hotcakes, but I do the New England style. Fantastic. I got to come over for some. I love omelets and seafood omelets. Ooh. All right, this is recipe number 5476. It is available on our website at newschannel5.com. Or you can head over to Salem Town and Big Al's Deli located on 4th Avenue North.